The Rhetoric of Fiction, by Wayne C. Booth is a seminal work in the field of literary criticism and theory. Published in 1961, this book explores the ways in which literature communicates, persuades, and engages readers. Booth's work is a masterful blend of literary analysis, philosophy, and rhetoric, and it has had a profound influence on the study of narrative and storytelling. In this analysis, we will delve into the key ideas presented in the book and discuss their implications for our understanding of fiction. Booth begins by emphasizing the role of rhetoric in fiction, asserting that literary works are inherently rhetorical. He argues that every narrative choice made by an author, from character development to plot structure, involves persuasion and communication with the reader. In this way, Booth challenges the traditional view that literature is a mere reflection of reality, suggesting that it is a carefully constructed art form that engages in a deliberate rhetorical act. One of the central themes of Booth's book is the concept of the implied author. He argues that every work of fiction creates an implied author, a narrative voice that guides the reader's interpretation. The implied author is not the same as the actual author but is a construct within the text that communicates with the reader. This concept challenges the idea that an author's intentions are irrelevant in literary analysis. Booth contends that understanding the implied author is essential for a more profound appreciation of a work's rhetoric. Booth also explores the concept of unreliable narration, a topic that has gained prominence in the field of literary studies. He suggests that unreliable narrators can be understood as persuasive tools employed by authors. Unreliable narrators challenge readers to critically engage with the text, as they must discern the truth behind the narrative. Booth's analysis of unreliable narration highlights the intricate ways in which authors manipulate reader perception, encouraging them to consider alternative perspectives and interpretations. A major contribution of The Rhetoric of Fiction is Booth's exploration of narrative distance. He introduces the idea that narrators can vary in their level of involvement in the story they tell. Some narrators are close to the characters and events, while others maintain a more distant, objective perspective. Booth argues that this narrative distance has a profound impact on the reader's emotional engagement with the story and the reader's interpretation of the text. Booth's examination of point of view, POV, is another significant aspect of his book. He argues that the choice of a specific narrative POV, whether first-person, third-person limited, or omniscient, is a powerful rhetorical device. Different POVs grant the reader access to different characters' thoughts and emotions, influencing how readers connect with and interpret the story. Booth highlights that the selection of a POV is a deliberate choice by the author to shape the reader's experience. The interplay of rhetoric and ethics is a recurring theme in Booth's work. He explores how literature can be a powerful medium for moral and ethical engagement. Authors, Booth contends, make ethical choices through their narratives, and readers are called upon to engage with these choices. Fiction, in this sense, serves as a means to encourage reflection and ethical exploration, highlighting its value beyond mere entertainment. In The Rhetoric of Fiction, Booth also discusses the concept of narrative voice and the use of tone in literature. He emphasizes that authors employ specific tones and voices to convey their message and persuade readers. The choice of a narrative voice, whether it is humorous, ironic, or earnest, has a significant impact on how readers perceive and interpret the story. Booth's analysis underscores the idea that literature is a form of discourse that communicates through tone and style as much as through plot and character. Booth's work has had a lasting impact on the field of narratology and literary theory. It encourages readers and scholars to approach literature with a critical eye, recognizing the deliberate rhetorical choices authors make. 
By highlighting the inherent persuasiveness and communication in fiction, Booth's book challenges the reader to engage more deeply with the text, considering not only the story itself but also the techniques used to convey it. In conclusion, Wayne C. Booth's The Rhetoric of Fiction is a groundbreaking work that has redefined the way we approach and analyze literature. Booth's exploration of the implied author, unreliable narration, narrative distance, point of view, and the interplay of rhetoric and ethics in fiction has enriched our understanding of the complexities of storytelling. This book underscores the idea that literature is not a passive reflection of reality but an artful and deliberate act of communication and persuasion. It continues to be a valuable resource for scholars, students, and anyone interested in a deeper exploration of the rhetoric of fiction.